buddy that was kind of stocky sitting next to Bell and I. Oh, yeah. Stocky with the gray hair, right? And uh, he was in our wedding. And uh, he there. was staying the night at the house, and it was during the holidays. Got to go. Right? He had come back over from Arizona. And uh, we were all, me, Can't Troy, see. Chuck, Danny, were sleeping in the bedroom. And, we had uh, double bunks, triple bunks. Triple, triple bunks, bunks man. Triple bunks. And, four bunks and if Chuck, you got it. Chuck wow. gave up Albert his bunks. Chuck gave up his bunks and to, for Troy Sorry. and was sleeping on the floor. Well, anyway, Chuck or Danny took my pillow. And I was uh, always, always. I've heard this story oh, no, no. so many times. No, see, no. Well, this is I one haven't, haven't heard. Here's one you haven't heard. Yeah, this is one you haven't heard. Twist it. Okay? Because <laughs> you're, you, you're, hey, you're yeah, used to the one of crazy. me and Uncle Danny getting in the fight. Yeah, where you yeah. take your pillow, you suck in the face, yeah, so you know, but you know, you start running it. around. This ain't it, okay? Oh, shit. So we're laying there, and, and Troy reminded me today, and I was like, oh my gosh, I do, I remember that. And so I'm laying there. And one of them come up, and because we always had, my mom always gave us feather pillows. Ah, uh, yeah. Feathered pillows, you sleep the best, and that's what we always had was the best feathered pillows. Love me some feather pillows. So Peach we're laying there, and all of a sudden I got this freaking pillow. It's like, what the hell is this thing? Like foam crap or whatever, you know? And I must, I was, at that time I was probably about 13, 14. It was during the holidays, and I went down there like, hey, you know, mouthy. Can you scary and I says, hey, you SOB, give me back my pillow. How old are you? 12 or 13. Wow, you say that when you're 12 or 13? Not ridiculous. around my parents. Wow. Just like you, son, wow. not around my parents. Next thing you know, <laughs> Chuck gets up out of the, <laughs> Chuck gets up off the floor, and he reaches, and I was up on the top bunk, third bunk. And he reaches up, and he grabs him by my shirt, and he rips me off that bed and throws me down to the floor. And he just starts kicking the living crap out of me. Don't you ever, ever just boom, just punching right in the chest and the gut, wherever. Open face. chest. Don't you ever call mom an SOB ever again. And then Danny said, he called her a what? And all of a sudden he jumps out of the middle bunk and he starts going to town on me a little bit. And next thing you know, Troy's going, hey man. I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> can't you guys just stop? Because <laughs> he was the only boy in his family. You know, he's like, can't you guys just stop that? I go, well, Troy, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> and next day, I'm bawling my head off, and mom and dad come out and want to know what the hell, what's going on. Those guys are beating the living day. You know, and, and, and all of a sudden, they get in there, and they're all, what's going on in here? And Chuck and they say, oh, I don't know. And Jimmy just said something, and, and, and we got mad. And it's like, and then and I wasn't about to say what I just said. It's like, oh, then I'll just get beaten again. And you know, Troy's like, like, Mom and oh Dad, you're beating me oh again. Danny, Danny, Danny Jones just did. Troy's like, I want to leave. Yeah, that's what he was like. Uh,